This is for John Brodzinski. Welcome to today's 3D print. This is a little quickie. I'm making this public to everybody because I think everybody can use this information. Um, he's having a problem where his bed here is loose. So this jiggles and it shouldn't do that. You definitely actually mine is a tiny bit loose. You can see I have a teeny tiny bit of jiggle there. Not enough to affect anything, but you know, I can show you how to get rid of that. So you have a rail here. This is your extrusion, your aluminum extrusion, your V-slot rail. And the way this works is you have these wheels, which ride inside this V-slot extrusion. Okay, so if you look at that from the side, you can see the wheels sit inside of there. Right. There we go. Now, if this is loose, or this is loose, you just got to tighten these up. Okay, but this one is adjustable. Now, here's how that works. You have a bolt. Um, actually, I can show you from the side as well. Actually, I can just do it in real life. I can show you up here. It's even better. Okay. So here... Oh, perfect. Come on. Focus for me, please. Thank you. So, you have a spacer. You have a bolt, which goes straight through. And you have a nut. The spacer is to make sure that this and this are relatively positioned. So that the wheel sits right here. And this sits in the right spot. So, tightening up this nut does not adjust this too much. Okay. It, well, it can for this. If, if this here is loose, if this arm is loose, just tighten up these and that'll fix that problem. Okay. But the bed is a little different. So the way this works is called an eccentric nut. Right now, if I turn this, this is a shaft. It just turns. It doesn't do anything special. Okay. But this one down here, at the bottom has what's called an eccentric nut. That means it's oval shaped instead of being round. Okay, so these two are round, this one is oval shaped. So depending on what position you're in, like here, this position would be pushing this wheel as far away from the extrusion as possible, while this end being on this side would bring this wheel as close to the extrusion as possible. So this allows you to shift the position of the wheel. So if I turn this, it just turns. But if I make it like this, well, now I'm really close. Now I'm really far. See how it changes where you are? See, I got more space here now. If I turn it this way, you have less space here. So by turning the nut like this, I am tightening the wheel against the rail, which, because it's a three-point contact, tightens the entire bed. So on the ender, you can see it from underneath here. See how there's a flat side on that wheel right there? Okay, you can put a wrench on that. So one of the wrenches that came with the printer, you put the wrench on there, and so you pull this all the way forward or all the way back, whichever is easier. Actually, back looks like it'll be the easiest. Yes, because you can stick the wrench in through here. Okay, you put the wrench on that eccentric, that um, that flat part there. It fits on there, and then you slowly turn the wrench as you wiggle the bed, and eventually you're going to see the bed's going to start tightening up. Keep turning it, tighten it, tighten it, tighten it, and when all the wiggle goes away, tighten it just a Air more and then stop. That's all you got to do. Um, up and down wiggle and side to side wiggle will be controlled by that. So if this moves side to side or up and down, it's because that bolt is in the wrong spot. So adjust that. You might have to go around almost 180 degrees to get in the right spot, but just keep turning that until this wiggle goes away and that'll fix your problem. All right, that's it. You guys have a great day. More videos are coming soon, of course. Enjoy.